Hello! It's Count Devula here, and it's time for another edition of It Came From The Vault. And today, Percy has dug up another cinematic horror classic. We hope. It's called Camera Magic, and I don't know what this is. I thought maybe it might be like the movie Peeping Tom or Videodrome. I don't know, camera magic, it could be something spooky. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, although I don't know why. But what also intrigues me about this is it brings back memories of my human life. There was a time I decided I wanted to be a magician, and when I hear the word magic, it reminds me of those wonderful times. I was becoming quite the magician. I was doing all the stuff, pulling rabbits out of hats and turning drinking waters into doves, all this great stuff. I eventually gave it up because I got to a trickier one where you saw a lady in half. Ooh, let's just say it didn't turn out, and after four times I decided maybe it's time for me to not be a magician anymore. But I did keep the jacket. Anyhow, enough reminiscing for me. You want a good scary movie, and we've got it. So dim the lights. Grab some popcorn, do the other, or you might trip over a cat or something. Get your snack, dim the lights, and get ready for camera magic on It Came From The Vault. Magical illusions with a movie or still camera. There are plenty that can be created with either. This is one of those now-you-see-me-now-you-don't surprises, and it's really easy for the movie fan. Of course, the camera was on a tripod. The person being photographed stands absolutely still, the camera is stopped and someone else runs into the picture, then the camera is restarted. The procedure is repeated as often as desired, and this is the result. Here's a way to solve your food problem right out of the air. With careful planning and one or two rehearsals, it never fails. More camera magic for the still and movie enthusiast. An eyeglass frame and a small mirror placed this way will certainly change things around. A non-existent lake makes its appearance right outside anyone's front door. This is the movie illusion, and it works the same way in a still photograph. This is another way of doing it with a mirror, aided by two fair bathing girls who prove the age-old admonition, hang your clothes on a hickory limb but don't go near the water, can be done. This time, camera magic makes bathing on dry land a reality. And using the same mirror device, camera magic creates the bearded lady of the circus. Now the movie camera exposes the mirror trick. By merely tilting up, the mirror-made lake gradually disappears, leaving everything high and dry. A handsome man in the palm of her hand. As you see, it's all in how it is staged, with the perspective the most important thing to watch. This illusion explains itself. Next, the girl who lost her head. It may seem impossible, but here it is, and you behold the proof. Oh, that can totally happen too. I, I kind of failed on that trick as well a few times. A troublesome fly adds to the enjoyment when making a picture like this. This illusion requires a little preparation, but time and effort mean nothing to camera magicians. You've probably already guessed this one. Two girls, a little ingenuity, and some real digging in the sand. Here, too, many variations can be made, such as a girl's body and a man's head, or two men, because every camera magician may not readily encounter two beautiful twins at the beach. Here's another that will fit into the circus album. An impossible contortion. Impossible? Not for the film trickster. And she always had a date on Saturday nights. 
simple when you know how to do it, but always startling as a still or movie. What I should have said was they always had a date on Saturday nights. This one is strictly for the movie makers. It's the well-known human fly, and it's a sure way to make a man climb the side of a building without ropes or pulleys. It may seem impossible, but here it is, and in reality, it is simple camera magic. All the photographer needs to do is turn the camera sideways while the picture is being made, and another good piece of magic goes into the bag of tricks. Real skill goes with this one, but once it's mastered, it's worth the trouble, as you can see. A stout gentleman saunters behind a tree, and lo and behold, three pretty girls emerge from the other side. Still another girl, and she seems to be followed by our stout man, who has been photographically hidden behind the tree. This illusion is known as the split stage, and it is made by matting out one side of the picture, then reversing the film back to the starting point, and matting out the opposite side. A tree or some other upright object, such as a telegraph pole or lamppost, must cut the scene exactly in half. This picture shows the complete expose. Here's a variation of the almost forgotten goose step. But that's not a goose, looks more like a jabberwock. Sometimes marching men can do the craziest things with the help of the camera, and sometimes birds can be made to step it up. It's another trick known only to camera magicians. Well, Percy didn't exactly give us a horror movie. This is more like a psychological thriller. Yes, I know it's just teaching us old camera tricks from the 19... I think this goes back to the 30s or 40s, maybe even sooner. But this is playing with my head and I can't concentrate. Every time I see one thing, they tell me it's another thing. I know that may, may seem like I'm not the sharpest tool in the shred. Shed? I can't even speak. But it's just playing with my head, so Percy, at least you've got that going for you. I still wouldn't mind an axe wound or something, but we'll see in the second half. But right now, it's off to the races. They're off. Down the track come pounding hoops, but it looks as though the cameraman is in control. It's not easy to pick a winner in a scene like this. Out of the pack comes the dark horse, a horse that can't make up his mind. The advanced amateur can produce this trick with a little help from the optical printer. Imagine two fishermen throwing a bushel of fish into the water. Well, we asked them to because we wanted to expose another illusion for camera magic. While they were tossing the fish from the boat, the camera was turned upside down as we photographed the action, and after the film was developed, this is what we got. It's called reverse action, and an upside down camera is the solution. If you watch the movie Jaws in Rewind, it's about a shark that throws up people. Many new means of transportation were created during the war, but the didos of this amphibious vehicle are created by the camera. Again, the upside-down camera comes to the rescue, and just in time. Jeeps for civilians, not if they're going to act like this. It's amazing what can be done with the Jeep and the camera. If you know how, you can even prevent accidents. Speaking of accidents, here's one that was created on purpose. It appears to be pretty serious, but it can be done without casualties. By simply holding the camera upside down, the accident is staged in reverse, like this, and the doctor is never sent for to finish the scene. This one is another secret of the cameraman who likes to clown around and can figure things out for himself. Fairy tales such as Cinderella lend great opportunities for camera magic. Moving from a close-up, the camera dollies back, which means it is on a rolling platform. For the amateur, a baby carriage will serve as a dolly and will move the camera smoothly and steadily. Deserted by her ugly sisters, Cinderella cleans the pots and pans until an obliging cameraman dissolves in the fairy godmother, 
who takes pity on Cinderella. Then with her magic wand, she changes the rags and tatters to a beautiful gown bedecked with jewels. This camera trick simplifies the shopping problem for ladies who need new gowns. In reality, it is a series of double exposures utilized by Hollywood producers, but not beyond the possibilities of clever amateurs who wish to create more elaborate effects. Now the motion picture camera, aided and abetted by advanced optical printing, brings to the screen a very energetic drum majorette, who, as she leaves the band, multiplies and twists at the will of the operator. It's done with a prism in front of the lens. Sometimes a piece of diamond cut glass will do, or even the scalloped bottom of a small drinking glass. The same girl, seven times. Then by camera magic, she becomes quintuplet. Now she becomes a trio as she continues to swing the baton. It is one of the greatest and most difficult tricks known to camera magicians. If you need further proof of camera magic, here it is. One and the same girl multiplied into two moving columns. Here the skill of the camera magician is at its best. That is the end of our movie, Camera Magic. And I have to say that it wasn't scary, but I actually thought it was kind of fun and something different than those educational films from the 50s and 60s. So, Percy, I'm going to give you a win on this one because I had a good time and it reminded me of my human days, which I don't remember too often, but reminded me of those fun times when I was a magician. Well, the good part of it with the bunnies and the doves and not all that. Anyhow, we hope you enjoyed the show and every once in a while I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Maybe I'll show them to you one day. Until then, thank you for watching. It came from the vault!